it's very hard to upload content, especially on a day where the World Cup is on and England are playing. But we have some West Ham news. Uh, welcome back to another video. Um, so there's been, obviously, we're in November, coming up to December soon. And then after that, it'll be the January transfer window. Uh, soon after the Premier League comes back. I am recording this at the half-time of Netherlands and Senegal. Um, and this will probably be out at around 6.15, 6 o'clock. Um, <clears throat> and obviously, you're going to hear a lot of transfer rumours. Uh, apparently, this centre-back called Louis Sal that I've discussed in a, another video. Apparently, he's he could come to us, but a lot of other clubs are interested. Uh, but there's some concrete news. Uh, two people that were very good at reporting West Ham news in the summertime was ex-West Ham employee and Dharma Chef from Sky Sports. Um, now, two separate reports. First of all, Vladimir Sufal, uh, as someone who I've kind of uh, slandered on my channel before. But I also thought he would have a good season uh, right at the start of the season. Um, he will maybe be leaving because apparently we want to go in a different direction. Um, this could also mean that Moes has the strict backing of another potential uh, turnover in the squad. Because we're going to have a few people leaving in January. Sufal, Ashby and Dawson being three of them. Vladimir Sufal is a player that doesn't stand out in terms of errors because he doesn't make errors but it's just very mediocre in terms of his performances constantly going backwards and because he doesn't make obvious errors people don't think uh that he's made uh that he's done that bad but he has and every time he gets the ball whether he's in a wing back position or a right back in the back four he hasn't been good enough with in terms of his passing he's actually been okay defensively um but i, I don't think he's been the same since that injury he got uh last year against Man United in the Carabao Cup, where Matic needed him in the groin. I think it was a groin injury. He hasn't re really been the same since. And he's even said that himself in previous interviews. Uh, I think in pre-season as well. So there's not really any excuses that you can come up with to uh, say whether he... Uh, what was avoiding him or not. But he didn't. He hasn't done well. He has not done well. And it's a shame because he's one of the few players that uh, brought us here in this position in the first place. But it's possible that he will be leaving. Uh, the only club I've seen him linked to, though, is Bayer Leverkusen. But I assume if he's going to be put on sale, then other clubs will come in. I think his contract expires in 2023. So I think we might be trying to get money for him. I think that's probably why he won't get a new contract. Um, I think a lot of people will leave as well. A lot of people are going to leave next summer. So if we're allowed to have another um, great summer... Uh, hopefully we can, but we need to actually get some points in the league when we come back from this World Cup. Now, a player that played today in the World Cup was Declan Rice. I don't think he had his best performance. I just think he did his job because um, he's not really allowed to do much in the England team, and especially in the first half, uh, kept the play ticking. I don't think he works well with Maguire and Stones, though. He's always asking for the ball, and they just don't give it to him. But him and Bellingham, good balance and uh, more freedom in the midfield. It's only a run, though. Uh, so I don't think anyone could get too excited, but I think everyone could be happy with the performance that England put in, if you like England. Um, Declan Rice is a player that I think we all knew was going to leave eventually. Some thought last season would be his last season. I always said this season. And it will be, because uh, reported by Express Stamp employee, uh, I think he was on a Chelsea show, I'm not sure, but he said that we'll finally listen to offers for Declan Rice in the summer of 2023. Now, this is interesting. Uh, this was always going to happen. We're going to see who, at what price he will go for. Because it's obvious he won't go for the 120, 150 million that we, that we put the price of him up for. The only reason why we put that price on him is because we don't want to sell him. But now we do, will sell him. I don't know where you go for. He won't go for 100 million. I think fans are going to have to accept that. We're probably going to have to accept maximum 80, if we're being completely honest. Because I don't think many... Clubs will actually, um, I don't think many clubs will pay the maximum amount, but uh, it will be interesting. I think uh, I will make another video detailing on how West Ham can progress without Declan Rice and all of that stuff when it comes closer. I've already got that as a video in mind, depending also on how the season goes this season. But that will be it for me today. A little five minute transfer video. I've got to upload something. Uh, during the World Cup. My next video will be a bit different. 
it will be West Ham related, but it will be a bit different. If you remember in the summer, I did the worst 11 that I've ever seen at West Ham. I'll be doing the best ever 11 I've ever seen at West Ham. And uh, I'll bring that to you uh, soon. Uh, but if you guys did like the video, leave a like on the video and subscribe to your new social medias are in the description if you want to follow me. And any inquiries uh, for the email there as well. Um, yeah, that is it. I'll see you guys later.